Welcome to the Seven Shifts audio series. Audio series is an oral version of Seven Shifts blog posts created to help restaurant owners and operators learn new ways to simplify their lives. From labor management to operations to marketing and everything in between, the Seven Shifts blog has you covered. Hello and welcome to the Seven Shifts audio series. My name is Dew and I'm here to talk to you about some simple, smart ideas for restaurant workers, owners, and operators to grow their businesses and make their lives easier. Seven Shifts is scheduling software made to simplify labor management one shift at a time. We help restaurants improve performance, freeing up time for managers to focus on serving their customers. Today, we're gonna talk about how to get hired by a restaurant. More specifically, we're going to discuss the 12 most commonly asked questions that hiring managers ask during restaurant job interviews and how you can give great answers and get the job. If you're looking for a job in the restaurant industry, we have good news. Many restaurants are almost constantly understaffed these days, which means that they're always on the lookout for new, reliable employees. That means that if you're a respectable candidate with a good track record, you've got a pretty good shot at getting hired. But no matter how great you are at your restaurant work, you have to clear one major hurdle. You have to impress them during your job interview. Your interview could happen in a couple of different formats. A group interview, an open interview, or a scheduled one-on-one -on -one interview, to name a few. No matter the interview setting, if you have poise, are authentic, exude confidence, and are able to clearly show your knowledge, you'll stand out from other candidates. To help you prepare, we're going to discuss 12 restaurant interview questions you might be asked and get some tips on how to answer them. We'll also go over some best practices that you should probably know before you go into any interview. So let's talk about some common job interview questions. Question number one. One of the first questions you'll usually get is the open-ended, tell me about yourself. Even though we talk about ourselves all the time, during a job interview, this question can throw us off guard and make you feel awkward. That's kind of the point. Since a restaurant job, if it's front of house, requires constant communication and interacting with the guests, the interviewer wants to see if you can answer with style and grace, in addition to having something compelling to say. Here are some tips for acing this question. A. Walk the interviewer through your experience working in restaurants, the roles you've held, and your responsibilities. If this is the first restaurant job you've interviewed for, tell the interviewer how other jobs and experiences you've had helped spark your interest in the restaurant industry. B. Smile and be personable. If you rush your answer and seem uncomfortable, the hiring manager will have a hard time believing that you'll be skilled at working with guests. Put on the upbeat persona you've used when you've worked previous front of house or customer service jobs. C. Include one or two facts about yourself, like maybe where you come from or a hobby that you enjoy. Typically, the opportunity to share this information comes toward the end of the interview. Keep it brief, but let some of your enthusiasm shine through. This can help put you and the interviewer more at ease and makes you seem like a more real human being to the interviewer rather than just another candidate. Question number two. Another question you'll often hear goes something like this. Can you tell me about a time when you had to deal with a difficult customer and what you did in the situation? All restaurant employees have had to deal with rude or difficult customers at some point. Interviewers want to know how you handle this very real and very stressful part of the job. It's not uncommon for employees dealing with unruly or disruptive customers to involve management. Sharing an example of such a past experience where you did just that shows that you know when and how to escalate a situation when it becomes necessary. This is also a good opportunity to show the interviewer that you're aware of the service industry philosophy, the customer is always right, and that you know how important it is to try to ensure all customers, even the difficult ones, have a good experience. Here's how to answer the question in a way that shows your experience. A. Explain the difficult situation you found yourself in without using the language of blame or judgment, whether it's towards the customer, the restaurant, or yourself. B. Walk the interviewer through the decisions that you made leading up to the incident and in the moment of the incident. Then, describe what the immediate result was. C. If it applies, talk about what you did after the incident. Did you escalate the incident to management? Did your manager praise you for your poise and professionalism? Was the customer satisfied with how you handled the situation and how it was ultimately resolved? D. Tell the interviewer about what you learned from the interaction and how it made you a better restaurant employee. Question number three. Don't be surprised if you're asked this obvious question. 
What do you think about or what do you like about our restaurant? This is why you need to do your research. No interviewer likes a clueless sounding candidate who just walks in off the street not knowing or caring about the restaurant. If you've been to the restaurant before or if there's something in particular that attracted you to that restaurant, be ready to talk about it. Here's how to show the interviewer that you truly want to work at their restaurant. A. Name one or two things you like about the restaurant and why you like them. B. Be honest and direct. C. Show them that you did your homework. Reference something that you read on their website or a customer review that echoed something about the restaurant business that you think is important. Question number four. Nobody's perfect and we all make mistakes and an interviewer is going to want to know how you handle it. That's why they'll usually ask, can you tell me about a mistake you've made on the job and how you handled it? Believe me, this is not a trick question. It's not intended to expose you as a bad employee. Its purpose is to see if you have some self-awareness. It's your opportunity to show the interviewer that you're capable of recognizing your flaws and willing to work to improve your job performance. Here's how to answer. A. Explain the situation that occurred and the mistake you made. B. Talk about the outcome immediately following the situation. C. Explain how you made amends in the moment and what you did in the long run to avoid making that same mistake again. People love seeing personal growth. Question number five. An interviewer also wants to know how well you can get along with coworkers. That's why they'll usually ask, can you tell me about a time where you and a coworker clashed and how you resolved it? It's guaranteed that you'll be working with lots of people in a restaurant. Your interviewer wants to know how you'll adapt to different personalities and work styles on your team without negatively affecting your customer's experience. Everyone has a disagreement with someone at some time or another. So just be honest and follow these steps to provide a satisfying answer. A. Explain the relationship between you and this coworker. Had you just met or had you not been getting along for a while? B. Talk about the specific situation both before and during the falling out. C. Be honest. Explain where you were at fault and don't pin everything on your coworker. D. Describe how things got resolved after the conflict. E. Talk about what changed on your end and how the relationship improved or evolved if it did. Question number six. If ever there is a chance to brag about yourself just a little bit during your interview, this is it. It's when you're asked, can you tell me about your proudest moment working in a restaurant? Here, the interviewer is also looking to see just how passionate you are about working in a restaurant. Working in this business is exhausting and requires long hours of hard work. So restaurant managers want to make sure the people they hire to work for them are proud and excited to be there. Here's how to answer this question without sounding too much like a showboat. A. Speak with a smile. If you're not naturally happy, the interviewer might not think that it's the most proud moment for you. B. Make sure the story involves someone else, too. A great answer to this question would be about how you were told by a customer how great you made her family's experience, a way you made your manager's job easier, or how a coworker thanked you for covering for him. All of these great experiences can make you feel proud to be a member of that team. C. Don't toot your own horn too loudly. It's fine if your story is a grand accomplishment of yours, but explain how it had an impact on the restaurant's business or your guest's dining experience. It shouldn't just be all about you. Question number seven. Typically, you're interviewing for a specific position at the restaurant. While you may have a lot of skills, the interviewer wants to know that you can do the job you're interviewing for. That's why they'll ask, what are the most important skills someone in this role should have? Certain restaurant skills like focus and patience are required in any job, but not every skill you've developed is worthy of bringing up in a given interview. For example, being personable and communicative is great for a server job, but it's not that important if you're interviewing for a busser job. Going into your restaurant job interview, think critically about what specific skills are make or break for the job you're applying for, and be ready to talk about how you'll bring these skills to the role. Here's how to show you understand your interviewer's specific skill needs. A. Come prepared with a mental list of a few skills you think are essential for your desired role, as well as why they're important. B. Be specific in talking about that role, rather than just listing skills that would help in any job, like being collaborative or detail-oriented. C. Don't ramble. Try to keep your list to just three or four examples. Question number eight. After you've showed your interviewer that you understand the skills needed to do the job, they'll probably ask, how do you think you embody the skills you just mentioned? 
The last thing you want to do is set yourself up for failure by naming skills you don't have. Make sure you know you've got the skills and experience to do the job. Here's how to let them know you're ready to hit the ground running. A. Give them examples to prove you embody these traits and skills in your daily life. B. Be humble. Explain how you're capable of meeting the needs of the role with your skills, without bragging. C. Own your faults and shortcomings if you don't yet have the skills that the job requires. For example, you might say something like, I think I can still improve my confidence, but I've been working on it. And in my last performance review, my manager said she had seen a lot of improvement and I'm excited to get even better in this new job. Question number nine. Your interviewer may ask, when was a time that you went out of your way to delight a guest? Here's another chance to brag just a little and once again show some of your passion and knowledge about the industry. We all know that providing a great dining experience is more important now than ever, and unfortunately, people are more likely to complain about bad service than talk about great service. In fact, 73% of consumers will tell someone else about a negative experience they've had at a restaurant. So, if you can make customers happy and limit the number of negative experiences in your restaurant, you're really helping the business. Let your interviewer know that you know how important this all is. Here's how to give a great answer to this question. A. Explain why you decided to go above and beyond for a particular customer. Was there a mistake that needed to be fixed? Did you overhear that the people at the table were celebrating a special event? B. Discuss how the effort was received. Did the customer thank you for going the extra mile? Did your manager compliment you for your great work? C. Talk about how it made you feel. Only if it made you feel good, though, and if you felt exhausted or annoyed after meeting a guest's special request, your interviewer might not think you're the best person for the job. Question number 10. We all know that working in a restaurant is a team sport, so your interviewer will probably ask you, where do you see yourself on a team? A restaurant's success hinges on all of its employees being great team players. Let your interviewer know you understand that and you're ready to jump in and cooperate. Here's how to show your interviewer you're ready to pull your weight. A. Answer in a way that's appropriate to the role you're interviewing for. For instance, you might want to say that you're a leader if you're applying for a management job. B. Be honest. If you're applying for that management job and you're not a natural leader, don't set yourself up for trouble by saying you are. Instead, talk about another applicable skill you have, like organization. C. Give an example. Whatever answer you give, explain why you gave that answer with an example of how you operate best in that position. Question number 11. Another question that often trips up interviewees is the dreaded, what questions do you have for me? Interviewers want to know what ideas or concerns you have about the role or about their restaurant, and they want to know that you're engaged in the interview process. Not having any questions shows them you might not be as leaned into or excited about the opportunity as they'd like you to be. Here's how to handle this open-ended question. A. Ask at least one or two questions about the role. If you truly don't have any, ask about the restaurant's operations, the team dynamics, or what the interviewer likes most about working there. B. Commit to following up with questions if you genuinely can't come up with any questions. Ask the interviewer for their best follow-up contact information, and then follow up with them. C. Don't ask about certain topics like salary or benefits just yet. Save those for if and when you receive a job offer. Managers don't want to hire people who look like they're just in it for the money. Here are some questions you could ask your interviewer. A. What are the opportunities for advancement in this role? This shows you want to grow in your restaurant career and aren't likely to quit. B. What's the current team like and how do they work together? This shows you're a team player. C. Do you offer any continuing training or education opportunities? This lets your interviewer know you're leaned into the industry and want to get better at your job. D. Was there anything about my resume or application that concerned you or that I could clear up? This opens the door for the interviewer to mention that one issue he wasn't planning to bring up and for you to address it and clear the air. Question number 12. After you've answered their other questions, your interviewer may just put it to you straight and ask, why should we hire you? After all, they need a bottom line reason why they should invest in you. This is your chance to once again show your confidence and stand out from the crowd. Give them legitimate reasons and do your best not to sound like you're putting your personal needs above theirs. Here's how to hit a home run on this final question. A. Don't brag. Instead, try to highlight how your positive attributes can help the restaurant succeed and delight guests. B. 
Give concrete reasons why you'd be a great team addition. Try citing the obvious must-haves like your strong work ethic in addition to other sought-after attributes like a positive attitude. C. Keep your answer short, 30 seconds or so, and concisely explain why you're the best choice for the job. Okay, now that we've talked about how to handle the most common job interview questions, here are five best practices and bits of common sense to be aware of as you prepare to interview. One. First, remember to follow the STAR interview method. STAR interviewing is a method of answering questions with a clear structure of addressing a situation, task, action, and result. This approach will help you give logical and easy, understandable answers. So, if you're asked the question, can you tell me about a mistake you've made on the job and how you handled it? You might answer it this way. A. Address the situation. Our Yelp reviews started gradually declining last year, and so our manager told us to start paying much closer attention to the way customers interacted with us toward the end of their meals. B. Describe the task. On one particular night, I asked a customer how his meal was, and he politely said, fine. However, I could tell something was wrong, so I wanted to see what I could do. C. Illustrate the action. I asked the customer if there was something else I could do for him, and after a brief hesitation, he mentioned he had received the wrong side dish. Since I couldn't fix it at that point, I apologized. Then I asked my manager if I could send the guest home with a free dessert and a coupon for his next visit. My manager approved, and I gave the guest the gifts and apologized again. D. Share the result. The guest was pleasantly surprised and thanked me. I told him it was my pleasure, since I really did want to make up for the mistake. My manager also later came up to me and told me he appreciated me being honest with him about the mistake. A few weeks later, that same guest came back. I like to think I helped contribute to his decision to return. See how clear and concise that story was? When you answer this way, hiring managers will be able to understand your train of thought, and they'll be more likely to trust you to follow through with your ideas and your work. Two. Second, don't talk down on your previous employers. This is interviewing 101 type stuff. Restaurant employees tend to bounce between jobs, so you never know if what you said could come back to bite you. If you're asked why you left, or why you want to leave your current job, keep your answer opportunistic and positive. Talk about how you just feel there are better professional opportunities for you in other establishments. Third, tell the truth. Don't exaggerate it. As tempting as it is to build yourself up in an interview, don't do it. You'll either come off as insincere, or you'll set a bar that's too high for yourself. In one situation, you won't get the job. In the other, you likely won't be able to keep the job for too long. Fourth, don't forget your interview essentials. Pre-interview stress can cause you to forget a few basics before your meeting. Remember to do these things. A. Arrive at least 10 minutes early. Showing up late sets a very bad precedent in this industry. Be sure to show your gratitude for the opportunity you're getting. But if you do end up running late, call on your way to apologize and explain the situation. If you have a legitimate excuse, any decent interviewer will understand. B. Bring multiple copies of your resume. Brush up your resume so that it's relevant and grammatically correct, and make sure to bring copies for everyone who may be interviewing you. C. Remind yourself to smile. It's such a simple thing, but remembering to smile during an interview can really make the difference between being hired and being passed over. Smiling shows your interviewer that you're kind, positive, and comfortable in awkward situations, and an interview can sometimes be an awkward situation. Fifth, dress for the occasion. It can be hard to know how to dress for a restaurant job interview. The general rule of thumb is to dress better than the restaurant's average guests would. If a dress code isn't made clear, you should at minimum try to look somewhat professional. For men, that means wearing dark jeans or wrinkle-free khakis with a belt, clean shoes, and a tucked-in button-up shirt. If the restaurant is a bit nicer, consider wearing a tie. Women can also wear khakis or dark jeans, alongside a nice top or blouse and closed-toed shoes. For a more formal restaurant, or for a management position, men should wear a suit, while women should wear a blazer with a nicer blouse and dress pants. So there you have it! We've gone over just about everything you'll ever need to know to ace a restaurant job interview. Study up on these 12 restaurant interview questions and review these five best practices and chances are you'll be more than prepared. Just remember to relax, be confident, and rely on your experience. And also, remember this, you wouldn't have gotten the interview if you didn't already have potential. So get in there and show those interviewers that you are the right pick for the job. Good luck! Thanks for listening to another episode of the 7 Shifts audio series. 
To listen to more great content for restaurateurs, check out 7shifts.com slash blog. Or to learn more about how 7 Shifts can simplify labor management in your restaurant, visit 7shifts.com.